Boomerangs, they're kinda mid, right? Wrong. Because today, in my Terraria The Stars Above playthrough, I absolutely kerflunked the Eater of Worlds with the most OP pre-hard mode boomerang I have ever seen. But first, I had another boss on my hit list. So without further ado, make sure to like, subscribe, and grab your lotion so we can get right into the views. My first priority for today was to defeat the King Slime, so I made sure to get some Jester Arrows and a Slime Crown, and then I got the fight started. Alright, let's drink this potion, and let's get it going, baby. Ow! Ow, ouchie, ouchie, that hurtied, that hurtied, stop it, hurtied. Pause, pause timer. Pause timer, I said stop. Stop, what are you doing? Wow, dude, that, he does so much damage when he hits you, though. Okay, and you now he's hitting me. Bill That one slime cost me that fight, because he just sat there. After a ridiculous death like that, I just had to try again immediately. That was ridiculous. And not as much. Okay, we're about halfway, getting there. Come on, less than halfway. Not much health left. You're supposed to be able to do this guy with like a silver bow. I guess that's probably an... I feel like he... Maybe it's just a master mode thing where he seems stronger than the Eye of Cthulhu. Good thing I have a billion of these arrows. Like, a, like way too many. And the constant fire damage on him is nice as well. Come on. Right, I need to chase him now. Alright, baby, let's go, W. Alright, now get rid of his stupid buddies. Die, please. Please die. Please die. Go away. Thank you! Thank you for the dub, the free dub! After defeating the King Slime, I had to talk to What's-Her-Face to get a cool new essence. I forgot. Oh, yes! Here. Slime King, huh? Good. Wait. Can you all see the ninja thing? Somehow, it's strong enough to unlock a part of the stellar ray. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. The astrolabe. Uh, really? Can you stop talking? Whoa, what is that? This fiery it's a fiery sword? Creation of your Aegis Driver. This thing looks crazy. What is this? Essence of the Aegis or Aegis? Celestial Uh Walter I then got teleported to a whole new area and be ready for a monologue these people like yapping so much So if you don't want to deal with the yapping just go ahead and skip to this time. I'll show it on screen here Um. Oh Hyperborea the home of the starfarers Huh Might not look it, but we aren't native to this galaxy. Huh. Someone started pouring oil into the lake. What's going on here? Nice. Moray galaxy is freezing over. Okay. Well, yeah. Observatory has defined this disaster as the ardor. I'd love to give you a direct answer. 
Huh. Well, yeah, we gotta beat some bosses. With the astrolabe, you'll be able to explore the cosmos with a working stellar glyph once you make one. We can run you through the basics if you need it. It's not too complicated, but you might get lost quickly. Fair. Need to craft a structure called the stellar glyph. It's the celestriad root. In the interest of keeping this brief, you can use it like a crafting table. Huh. Simply combine one of each type of gemstone to create the stellar glyph. That's pretty much the hardest part taken care of. Now placing the stellar glyph in your home will open up a gateway you can use with the celestial cartography menu to explore the galaxy in what we call a cosmic voyage. Simply select the destination to teleport directly there. Quite a novel way of travel, right? Of course, there's a few downsides. Okay. Grappling hook? Ew. Alright, well, I hate using grappling hooks, so... Yikes. If you find any foes on your adventures, you can kill them for a chance. Nice. Huh. Whole host. Well, alright. It'll be a long cooldown before you can visit again, so make every visit count. Alright then. More cosmic voyage locations. Upgrades. Celestial Root. Celestriad. Stellar Fochi. Okay. That's it. Did you get all that? Sure. Perfect. That was just so much information that I'm not going to be able to do anything with right now. I'm not smart enough for that. After defeating an enemy, you gain 10% increased damage for half a second. Mana based on... That's actually really good, too. Sick. I then used one of my essences to create a Dark Soul sword. It's carrying a Dark Moon. There we go. Holy, that's a lot of... What? Critical strikes when we frick Frost Burn. Gaining above Moonlight Great Blade. This is, this is a uh, Dark Souls weapon. Maybe I do Queen Bean for... Queen Bean. Yeah. Um, no. No, that's, that's, not, that's not what you call her. Her name is not Queen Bean. And absolutely nothing went wrong when I went mining. Uh, a compass? That's so lucky. What kind of Looney Tunes uh, is that? What is that? Why did I just get Looney Tunes? It totally didn't happen again right after. Am I? The boulders! The boulders! After getting brutally bouldered, I made another essence weapon. All right, let's uh, let's try this puppy. But oh, I, it's so weird how you throw it all. Here we go, baby. It's fight number two. Um, yeah, it should be good. That's good. Okay, this is scarier than I thought it'd be. Although this weapon is insane. I do so much damage, but I also take so much. If I, if, I wish I remembered how to eat grapple, dude. I might die before I, I, can, I just can't move. I don't know, man. This is gonna be a close one. This is gonna be a close one. Holy shit! Holy! Oh my god, I'm insane! Why is this weapon so broken? No, it was not supposed to be that easy. Why is my weapon so broken? Why is my- I- I barely needed to do anything. This weapon's insane. It helped that the Eater of Worlds, like, is a really easy boss. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude! How did I just beat that guy in less than a minute? I fought it again just for fun and so I could get the armor. Okay, I beat him again, perfect. Whew, that was hard. When I was out looking for beehives so I could defeat the queen bee, I made the fantastic decision to uh, fight it immediately after getting into the hive. 
Should I just leave right now and then come back later? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just try it out now, see if I can win. Test my luck. Might as well, right? Screw it! Ow! Come on, give me that heart. Okay, perfect. Good heart, good heart, good heart. 17 seconds. I just have to survive that long. Oh, come on, stop. I get hit one more. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, oh, that was so close, too. I need iron skin. I need more potions. Ah. Oh. After growing a brain and getting a bazaar, I went ahead and fought it again. Stinger's nice. Oh, I got a beeswar already? The immunity to poison is going to be insane. I'm absolutely going to use that during the fight. Absolutely. The squirrel has arrived. Yeah, I need a squirrel. What? Alright, let's do it, baby. Go away, loser. Yep, no, your bees can't touch me. You bees can't touch me, loser. Ow. I just gotta hop around like a maniac. Ow. I got you, buddy. You can't touch this. Oh, I can't touch this. Oh, he can touch this. She. She can touch this. Okay, he's hitting every shot. Wonderful. I'm gonna use this right now. Just so I... Because I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have another chance to use it. Okay, how are you hitting everything? Okay, Jesus. It's got, this thing has aimbot. It has aimbot. Come on, 104. Come on, 60 health. Let's go! Holy W. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm the bee killer. I'm the anti-bee person. Anti-bee murder person. Death murder person. Okay, can you... Ridiculous. Like, stop attacking me, please. Queen Bee Relic. Let's place this bad boy. Or bad girl? Yeah, I kept calling her a boy during the fight. That's not bad. Misgendering a bee. It's kind of messed up. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Four trophies. Let's go, W. W. Wow, that dropped a lot of stuff. What? Oh, B pants. It's because it dropped stupid stuff. The new Stellar Array buff and the summon item I got from that fight made me so much more powerful. It's Hornet time, baby. I can probably... Well, I guess I should have expected something like this within the jungle. Good work. Looks like another ability is unlocked in the Stellar Array. Perfect. Let's look in the Stellar Array real quick. I forgot we were even playing this mod. Wait. This is insane. That's insane. All these are great, bro. Okay, my, I'm so much faster now. Holy. I mean, it did give me plus 25% movement speed. That's insane. After getting a new sword, I was super surprised at finding this in the corruption. Look at that. Let's try it out. Yo, what's up, Scoffnung? It's like floating on my back. That's pretty sick. Um, let's look it up. Attacks with this weapon stab rapidly and have high knockback. Holding this weapon conjures the Blade of Grudges, which will target and attack- So it's like a summon weapon, almost. The Blade of Grudges does half of your defenses damage to foes every four seconds. Calculate separately. When the Blade of Grudges inflicts a critical strike, gain Bloodstained- Bloodstained Balloon for eight seconds. Bloodstained Balloon increases damage- This is really good, actually. I think we'll keep this. No, that's not what I meant to do. Accidental double tap. That guy's fast. What the hell? New Stellar Nova? Oh, I didn't even... It didn't tell me the meteor had spawned. Wait, are you kidding me? The meteor's already here? I... Well, okay, perfect. This is kind of stupid, horrible timing, but... Wait, these don't destroy the meteorite. 
They just don't. What? Why don't they destroy the meteorite? What's going on? Normally they do. I'll go over the meteorite more in the next episode, but for now I just wanted to make my Skeletron arena. Dude, I feel like a horrible person, man. I'm affecting climate change in a bad way right now. Also, if you're worried about how close these platforms are to each other, this thing just penetrates through everything, so it really just doesn't matter. And it's better for me just in case I accidentally mess up and I um, uh, forget to like double jump or whatever. Or I like run out of wings and I can't go that high. I'm trying to make this a relatively good arena. Well, not good, wide, I meant. Because I'm never going to make a good arena. And in, in ev every time I play Terraria, I make the crappiest arena possible and I don't care. I then checked out the Brewer NPC and got some potions to prepare for the Skeletron fight. Sells potions. Yeah, she. Roxanne. 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 Oh, there's, wait, there's non-vanilla potions? Hold on. More potions? Oh, it's just a pylon. <laughs> That's not a potion! And I have swiftness, so I have... This is all the po- I'm gonna take all of these potions for the Skeletron fight. I am going to be buffed out of my mind. And I'm gonna increase my stats, too, with this little apricot. <laughs> so, yeah, I have regen. Magic power, magic regen, or mana regen, swiftness, iron skin, heart reach, summoning, titan, calming, wrath, and rage. I am going to destroy Skeletron. I am going to destroy Skeletron. Absolutely. And that's it for this episode. We're going to start off next episode with fighting Skeletron. So be excited for that. And uh, that's it for this, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I did a lot this episode, actually, like a crazy amount. So, yeah, that's it, guys. See ya.